Kids Church friends and families, we at our house are getting ready for back to school. The Evans kids go back to school this week. Yay! I know a lot of you guys are going back to school this week. Some of you guys started school last week. Um, and a few of you guys have a few more weeks of summer before school starts. And this school year is weird. And so we just wanted to take some time today to pray for you guys. But before we do that, I have a couple of questions for you guys to talk about as a family. Okay, so we all have things that we are scared of and we may have some worries or some anxieties about the new school year. Um, Maybe you're worried or anxious about being able to understand what your teacher's teaching when they're on the computer. Or maybe you're worried or anxious about not getting to see your friends. Maybe there's things you're scared of that aren't even related to school, like, Caleb, are you scared of the dark? Uh, yeah. Yeah, scared of the dark. So I saw this great um, object lesson that I wanted to share with you guys this morning. So, oop! <laughs> I think a squirrel just threw something at me. Maybe we should be scared of squirrels. All right, come here. Okay, so we've got this cup here, okay? Nice. So let's pretend that this water is uh, our fears and our worries, okay? So maybe what are some things you're afraid of? Um, dog, coronavirus, Coronavirus, Everything. maybe going back to school the dark spiders okay yeah. so we've got our fears in the cup I just saw a spider. now I want to read a, a Bible verse for you okay this Bible verse comes from Psalm 55 verse 22 it says cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you he will never allow the righteous to be shaken Anna would you read it for us in the children's international children's Bible mm -hmm. version nice and loud do you always to the Lord? He will take care of you. He will never let the good people down. That's right. So it says we should give our burdens and our worries to the Lord. What are some ways we can do that, do you think? Mm -hmm. If we pray, yeah. if we pray and we give our worries over to God, Caleb, you're going to want to see this, okay? Let's pretend that this cardboard is us praying to God and giving him our worries. Now, what do you think is going to happen when I turn this over? All the worries are going to spill out. All the worries are going to spill out? Well, let's see. Maybe. Okay, Actually, let's see. no. Well, let's no. see. I'm going to let go. Uh-oh. Look at that. Oh, cool. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh. Psalm 55 22 says, Cast your burden on the Lord and He will sustain you. Oh, watch out. He will sustain you. Now, the reason, the reason that the cardboard is staying on the cup, I don't know how long it's going to stay. The reason it's staying on the cup is because of this air bubble up here. This air bubble is like the Holy Spirit. Okay? That air bubble is like the Holy Spirit. We cannot see the Holy Spirit. We can't necessarily feel the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is always there with us. It sustains us. It keeps us together, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of hot water you just feel there, honey. Okay, so the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit sustains you, okay? It comforts you. And so when we are scared or we are worried, we can cast our burdens on the Lord, right? Okay, so we want to invite you to pray with us today as we get ready to start the new school year. We are going to pray that God would bless our new school year and that we would cast our worries and our anxieties and our fears on God so that he can sustain us with the Holy Spirit. Okay, you guys ready? All right, Evans kids, you're going to read the part that is in bold, okay? And I hope that you at home will join us as well. All right, everybody, let's pray. At the start of the school year, we are beginning something new. New things can be exciting. New things can be scary. New things can be wonderful. New, new things, things can, can be confusing. confusing. God, you are always with us. 
You are with us when things are exciting or scary or wonderful or confusing. You are with us every day. And all the time. God, please help us to feel your presence with us on the first day of school and every day. Amen. All right, friends, we hope you had a great first day of school or you have a great first day of school and that even though this school year is a little bit weird and maybe in some ways scary, that it would be a really, really good one for you. We are praying for you this week and every week, and we will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hey parents, the prayer that we use today for back to school is from writer Tracy Smith, who's the author of Faithful Families. And when I post on this video on Facebook, I'm going to link a couple of other prayers that I think might be helpful for you if you want to create some sort of um, just liturgy in your home as you guys are transitioning back into school this school year um, that might be helpful for you and for your kiddos to be centered and to be focused in making this a great year. So love you guys, continuing to pray for you, and we will talk soon. Bye, friends.